So I'm Jean Enriquez. I'm the National Coordinator of the World March of Women Philippines and I'm also in the International Committee of the World March of Women and currently I'm also Executive Director of the Coalition Against Trafficking in Women Asia Pacific which is a member of uh, the World March of Women in the Philippines. For me, uh, feminism is a worldview, it's, uh, but it's only not a, th a way of thinking, but it's also a way of life. It's also a um, uh, means, action, a uh, particular movement, and therefore the elements of it uh, includes a very critical understanding of uh, the world, uh, knowing that, understanding that it is uh, patriarchal, that patriarchy is also one of the structural problems that we are currently facing and is uh, the foundation of huge uh, issues and problems that we are currently facing. It, uh, it is also very much intersecting with other structural issues like capitalism, um, racism, and other uh, forms of hierarchies. And therefore, to me, to be a feminist uh, takes on a worldview and also uh, sustained action that challenges all forms of hierarchies, primarily patriarchy. But also, uh, for me, feminism challenges all hierarchies, which include capitalism or economic inequality that it engenders, and also uh, racism, ageism, uh, the idea that man is above the environment is also something that feminism also challenges. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's really complete when I became um, awakened as a young woman at the age of 17 to feminism, I immediately embraced it because I felt it is also very personal. It's not only political. Before that, I have been um, a human rights activist for a long time, but when I came to be introduced to feminism, it is something that really resonated in me because it is something, as I've said, very personal. And I think this is a way of uh, thinking and also working that feminism introduced, that the political is not separate from the personal. And I, we owe that a lot to radical feminists. The concept of patriarchy, of the personal also being political, and that dialectics. Uh, to be able to achieve feminism in the world, uh, it is be very important for, for women as persons to not only understand uh, this uh, worldview, but also to live it. Because I have seen also uh, sisters, while we owe them a lot, who have come before us, that while they embrace the worldview, it, it is not always seen in the personal lives. And I think it is a challenge for all activists for that matter. But I, I am hoping that feminists would be in the forefront of leaving what they say. Uh, in the same sense that I was saying that the personal is political. So for me, that's very important for women to live what they are preaching, what they are telling other women, what they are telling the world, for that, that they show it through their own lives. And uh, for me to be able to really realize feminism in this world, it's important to organize, awaken other women, especially young women, uh, because I have seen the value of starting early on feminism. I have seen it uh, in my daughter who as a young girl has also grown uh, to understand that feminism should be a basic value that she embraces and, uh, and, and to see that everything that's not feminist is actually um, illogical or, or, or simply not, um, you know, it's not uh, uh, according to how we should build the world. And it, it's very important to, to also bring in more and more women towards this um, idea, but not only women. Uh, in the Philippines, we have come to organize men who have, or young men who have started to call themselves also pro-feminist, um, embracing also this worldview because they have come to believe that their uh, struggles against capitalism and other inequalities will never be realized if they don't embrace feminism.